And right now we are on to part two tonight of the double whammy that the weather is bringing our way, folks. In the morning, floods that soaked basements and closed roads around the area. And right now, that transition to snow could make the Friday drive home pretty miserable. And we have it all covered for you tonight. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. The temperature dropped more than 25 degrees from this morning and the weather changed just as quickly. That's right, that has led to hundreds of closings that you can see right here at the bottom of our screen. And we want to remind people in Niagara Falls that a travel advisory is in effect. We have a lot of people to get to in tonight's team coverage, and we're going to start with Kevin O'Connell with the big picture for us tonight. Kev? We started earlier this morning, and what we can expect a little bit later on tonight is so important, and we will get to our flooding potential uh, in just a couple of minutes. But I wanted you to note that the ice covering that is going now is like a little veneer on the roadways, and putting snow on top of that could not only conceal it to the eye, but you may be right in the middle of it. You hit the brakes, and all of a sudden, you're sliding. So more more break space tonight. Most of the snow we're going to deal with will be an overnight occurrence and the sun will come back definitely by Sunday. So the winter storm warning in effect for all of our area. This is going to last until Saturday afternoon. As you take a look, it started this morning. We had rain. We were in the 50s. All of a sudden, Patrick Hammer gets on the air and boy, it was like a hammer. Those temperatures went down rapidly. We had the transition from the rain, which is well off to the east, to more of a little bit of a frozen mixture coming our way and now we're going to deal with snow 